she has her own little shelf right here that you can see. She's currently reading Lord of the Rings. And no, so Lord, Lord of the, the Flies. Flies. Sorry, Lord of the Flies. She doesn't like Lord of the Rings. Thomasina Pigeon and her 12-year-old daughter Cedar call this converted minivan in Squamish home. Pigeon has lived in vans for the better part of 20 years. Her daughter, pretty much her whole life. I mean, you could take everything with you. So if you're driving to somewhere and you're like, oh no, I forgot something. Oh wait, my house is right outside. <laughs> so that's nice. For Pigeon, the lifestyle is a choice. She prefers minimalism and the low environmental impact, but it's also a matter of means. But Squamish has become such a magnet for outdoor enthusiasts, many of whom travel and live in vans, that it's become a problem for some neighbors and district officials. They leave garbage, which is a bear attractant, putting our wildlife at risk. Um, they, there's human waste problems. Uh, they are camping close to neighborhoods, so they're disturbing locals. Elliot says the problem is a minority of the roughly 3,000 van dwelling visitors. And she says the goal of the proposed bylaw isn't to target folks who live and work in Squamish, but to target messy travelers. It's a nuisance camping bylaw. We're trying to take care of the folks that are creating a nuisance in our community. Rufio West is a van dweller who bartends in town and spends his free time rock climbing. But lately, he's been organizing a network of his local transient community to fight the bylaw. I know there's an issue with garbage and human waste with some people who are extremely irresponsible. However, when I read the text of the bylaw, it seems extremely punitive. West says he's worried about the discretion the bylaw would give individual officers. Elliot says the goal is to give officials power to ask problem people to move along when necessary. She says the fine would likely be about $500. I'm pretty pissed about it. I mean, I think it's a really unfair bylaw that steer, like there's a lot of prejudice against van dwellers and people that live in tents out of necessity or choice. And I feel this bylaw is not a solution to the problem, which is garbage from irresponsible campers. Pigeon and West say if littering is the problem, deal with that. They both say they would dispute any fines they might get if the bylaw passes. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Squamish.